Randy Rain here, and it was just Thanksgiving, and there was the family and all that, and there was a child, and I was showing off all my cool toys, and I got the big loader construction set out, and it didn't work completely. Most of it worked, but it couldn't get up the ramp to dump the balls, and I don't know what that is about. I've been putting out a video every Saturday for seven years now, and this was one of my very first ones. So no telling what I did wrong and what it needs to be fixed again. So let me get inside. So it's this thing here. It's the same mechanism Tomi uses in everything. But you can see that something is slipping because I can hold the tire. I don't think it's the tire actual tire slipping on the wheel. Well, that one is very, oh, that one is very hard. So that could be an issue. But I don't necessarily think that's it because I can stop this too. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. All right, now looking at this, I can see the problem, I'm pretty sure. And I'm also wondering, what in the world did I do on this thing? I don't even remember. A little spring here. There. I mean, look at this. That's not my gear. I don't think I replaced that, did I? Did I? Honestly, don't even remember much of this. Interesting. I, I don't even remember this. Yep, and here's the little planetary gear that changes the direction. A little fuzz. Hmm. I don't think it's cracked. Got this little slip gear, and there's this gear. What did I fix on this thing? I mean, that was sliding, and that's cracked as cracked can be. That has to be replaced. And then this. Yeah, that's broke too. Hmm. I don't even know what I did on this one. I wonder if I did this video before I realized you could just buy these gears. Because there was a time. I think there's an eight tooth right here. If I can get to it. One. Yeah, that should work. So you can buy assortments of these gears. eBay. AliExpress, all kinds of places. I have bags and bags of gears. More gears than you can shake a stick at. But I still have a hard time finding the exact one I need sometimes. But that should be the eight tooth gear that is needed. Oh yeah, that's it. Yeah, that gear's fine. Where did it go? Go this way. Yeah, there we go. And then this piece went in here some way. I know it fit in here. It had to come out that side. It didn't come out this side, did it? Yeah, I guess it came out that side. Okay, so you have this arm here. And what that does is it's going to stop it here. 
And I guess I could stop it there, but or there. Maybe it's these two here. So it'd be spinning this way. Okay, so the motor would have it spinning that way. And if it stopped it here, it's going to be going that away. As soon as it moves, I guess it goes down to here to that bottom gear. And now it goes the other way. Yeah, so it's either going to connect here, down and spin that gear down below, which then that one spins this one right here, or it moves that planetary gear to there and just spin it directly. Either way, when this one gets spun, it's going to make the wheels move, and if it's either turning directly, or it's turning that one, which turns this one. That's going to be the two different directions. You can even put batteries in it. Let's see what happens here. That seems to be working pretty good. Little spring goes back onto there. Now we can put this on. I guess it goes this way. You have these things that flop down so you can use it on the ground or on the track. So according to the Dead Sea Scrolls here, I don't want to touch it too much, but I should have 12 of the rocks, and I don't. I maybe have half of them. So I could use some more rocks. But everything else is good and is working. This is from 1977. I was six years old when this came out. This is the dump truck. It goes there. This is the scoop lifter. That's what that is, the old scoop lifter. It goes there. And this is the skip loader. The skip loader goes here. And then there's a little spike that goes into the little track slot here. Like that. And ever so often there's some of these and all that's doing is hitting this little thing down here to make it go in reverse. So you can make it repeat this action. So it'll go and skip them, whatever it is that a skip loader is supposed to be doing. But if you want to do it again, you can hold this down and it'll hit that and make it do it again. There's some all over the place. There's one over here. Then there's one down here, and then there's one over here. Well, one thing right before I show you, notice there are gears along parts of the track. Those are to ride on the small black gear next to the wheel on the cart. That's why you'll see it slow down, but it's also gonna give it more torque to allow it to do the work it needs to do. So yeah, this is a short one, but there's a reason, and that's because 
besides repairing and restoring old mechanical toys and old mechanical robots and making my own stuff, well, I'm also a performer and I have a show coming up. It's called Holiday Havoc, Magic and Mayhem at the Far Best Theater in Mansfield, Texas. So if you're in the area, come by December 13th and watch me and my friends do crazy, crazy things. But I'm not going to miss a Saturday, and I couldn't stand that this didn't work on Thanksgiving. So now it is working. You ready to see it in action? So here you go. Let's turn it on. So what's funny is you see marble runs today where they're sold as modern art. And basically, it's just machinery moving marbles around, which is exactly what this thing is. Tommy was doing modern art back in 1977. As far as the Tommy toys that all you can do is look at them and watch them go, this one is my favorite. There is interactions with the buttons, nothing really needed. But as far as the watching ones go, this is a good one. Anyway, if you like this video, I sure would appreciate a thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this, hit the subscribe button. I want to thank these people right here. These are the patrons. These are the people bringing you the Big Loader construction set. And I couldn't do any of this stuff without them. And I thank them all so very much for helping me and keeping me going. Because they're the ones that are keeping me going. I've been doing this for seven years now, every Saturday. And it's these people right here that have allowed me to do that and so I thank them so very much and if you'd like to become a patron and all that stuff there's links and everything and if you're in the area come to the show.